Hello everybody, it's Alien Butler Blunders and welcome to a brand new unboxing video today. So I'm excited to be bringing you a Playmates Godzilla King of the Monsters King Ghidorah figure. Um, so this is a character I've known about for a long time. Um, his most recent appearance was in the 2019 uh, King of the Monsters movie where he's um, a great villain against Godzilla, where Godzilla's the greatest of the good monsters um, and King Ghidorah's the greatest of the more evil uh, more malicious and destructive monsters. So um, he's been around for a long time. He was, his first appearance was in the 60s films. I think 1964 uh, was his first appearance. Um, and one of the benefits of CGI in the most recent films is you can have um, a more inhuman design for King Ghidorah um, in the sense that, for example, his legs are a lot more animalistic, a lot more uh, bird-like or dinosaur-like than kind of the straight human legs of um, when it was a person in a suit. So um yeah then they're, they're not king uh, the recent godzilla films aren't the best films in, in terms of acting or character uh, but that's not why people watch these films people watch these films for amazing monster fights and monsters fighting each other um so yeah i'm i'm always down for more monsterverse films um so it's great that um i've got this guy today um i have cut the ties of the box so it comes out more easily and this will just come out uh great so they've they've managed to pack it really well in a little box so the wings will just drop out the back um, and one of his tails is through the uh, plastic there so uh, there he is and you get this impression that he's a wonderfully detailed wonderfully textured figure um so a very affordable figure as well i only bought this for 10 pounds on amazon um it would probably be about 15 pounds um it's a recommended retail price. It's a far cheaper figure than something like NECA or SH Monster, Heart, uh, Monster Arts, which can be £30, £50 or more. So I recommend this to children and mature collectors. Great figure, great monster, really impressive detail. Um, articulation's nice. Um, there's no there's no real downsides to this guy at all. Um, so uh, once I was taking this out of the box, I did put this on um a bit early so there's a bit of his chest that does pop out um so it's like a big wound and it's uh, not too detailed it's just painted flesh color um and you can put that back in so um his wings do slide in quite nice and easily um they just press into a socket there uh, like that great um and you can pull them out again if you have to uh, but they're quite secure in there um and Let's press that in there. Hmm. Okay. Cool. Great. There he is. King Ghidorah. Great villain. Fantastic design. Um, they did redesign him slightly, um, as I mentioned, for the most recent films. Um, but I love it. He's he's really, really brilliant design for kind of an evil intergalactic space dragon uh, it's just fantastic really imposing design the wings look great and um, the, the heads are poseable as well and they do kind of articulate a bit which is good um kind of have them all looking in the same direction um the legs do pivot a bit um so the the tails aren't kind of um a metal wire in a uh, poseable plastic form they're just kind of slightly soft uh, plastic but that's fine really good figure detail on his wings is lovely there's kind of veins uh blood vessels on his wings which kind of looks like lightning which is cool uh because he breathes lightning so the detail on the back of the wings says 2022 um legendary in toho playmates and um, so it's a more recent release of a figure from a 2019 film um and this kind of suggests to me that we might see king Ghidorah again um, so fans know that um, even though King Ghidorah did die in the 2019 film, um, there is a version of him as Mecha King Ghidorah. So he comes back um, as kind of a cyborg to fight Godzilla again. So that would be very cool to see um, again. So anyway, a fantastic figure. Great design. Really, really wonderful. Um, so what I can compare him to is the... Um, Mecha Godzilla figure I've reviewed in another video. Um, and this is by the same Playmates figure. I've got the darker variant of Mecha Godzilla, uh, but that'll give you 
uh, some impression. So King Ghidorah is slightly downsized as to what he should be. So they're both, um, let's see, so they're both about 17, 18 centimetres tall, uh, whereas King Ghidorah should absolutely tower above Godzilla. So um, if I give you an impression, if I bring uh, King Ghidorah closer to the lens, you'll see that he's, King Ghidorah is supposed to be huge. Um, huge, with a body similar in size to Godzilla, but with very long limbs attached. Um, so anyway, wonderful. That concludes my video today. Um, I highly recommend this guy. Um, really, really great figure for fans of uh, fantasy, uh, science fiction, Godzilla films. Um, yeah, it's just excellent. There's no downsides to this guy at all. He's wonderful. Really, really good. Um, okay, so I do recommend... Um, playmates for some of their figures um, i'm not too keen on their main godzillas and king kongs just because i don't like how they've done the texture of the scales um godzilla's supposed to be matte instead of shiny and he looks quite shiny and kong 2's kind of got shiny fur when he's supposed to be matte but that's not a problem with king Ghidorah because he king Ghidorah does have shiny scales um so that just looks great and mecha godzilla as well um kind of metallic so the the texture's great um okay so that concludes this video today um, thank you very much for watching and i'll share with you any unboxings i've got in the near future so thanks very much today guys